Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and today it's time to find out if I can melt aluminum with Max. Max, of course, is the fire brick and cob rocket stove, which I'm going to use as a furnace or forge here to see if we can smelt, melt some aluminum cans to make some aluminum blanks. I've got a particular project in mind for the aluminum blanks, but we'll talk about that later. Right now, I'm going to load up the stove with some wood and we'll get it lit. Before I light it up, I wanted you to see how the crucible sits down here in the top of the stove. I'm going to pull this out we'll light it up. I'm going to build the fire, but I'm actually going to skip the kindling size here and go right to the medium sized sticks because I'm going to light this with some lighter fluid to get it going quickly. Although I'm being careful to put the, the fuel inside the firebox and not out here in the opening. Stand back. All right, now that I got this lit, I'm gonna put on my gloves and drop in the crucible. And then we'll add some cans and keep the fuel going. I find that the cans melt much faster when they're good and flat, so I'm crushing them with a brick. I'm going to fuel this up as much as possible, but because of the decreased airflow with the crucible in it, I might need to bring in my blower. I also might need to widen out the top, the mouth of the top of the chimney a little bit just so there's a little bit more space than just a half inch around the crucible. But we're in the testing phase right now, Let's see how it goes. All right, so I'm still not getting enough heat to the crucible, so I'm gonna bring in my blower, which is actually a hair dryer that I've modified with a PVC coupling that goes to a foot long piece of iron pipe. So I'm gonna put this in the top with the fire versus underneath it. I'm gonna put this on low. Adding air like this is gonna mean I need to keep the fuel coming too. Let me try a high. Too much. All right, so I'm gonna stop this with part one because I really feel like there's some modifications I need to make to this in order for it to work like I want it to. Even adding the blower, there just wasn't enough flame coming out at the top around the crucible. I think that space is just too narrow. The aluminum cans are darkening, but they're not melting. So I just don't think I'm getting enough heat flow past the crucible. So before I actually harden off the cob too much that I can't modify it, I'm going to stop this burn um, and let it cool down and then reevaluate. Come back in and carve out some of the, the cob around the top. See if I can make that air channel maybe an inch and a half wide 
instead of just half an inch, that little extra volume might be all that I need to make this thing work like I want it to. The other option is to change the fuel. Fill this thing with charcoal, use a couple of bricks I just set in place to close off the front of the stove, and then create a, a special brick on the bottom there that allows just the blower nozzle through so I can pump air through, heat those coals up, and, and heat the crucible that way. In fact, I would fill the coals up all the way to the top of the chimney to get that heat right to the bottom of the crucible. So here on this channel, you know, I'm going to show you my failures or my iterations, uh, not just my successes. So I am really happy with how this stove turned out. If you haven't watched the build video yet, you can check it out. I'll put the link here. Um, and as always, our mission here at Green Shores is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Keep all the great comments coming, and we'll see you here in the next video.